this match, match number 45, it's, um, match number 45 will be taking place between, um, Gatebuster202 and White Knight Weegraph. So, um, yeah. On Gatebuster's, Gatebuster's side, we have Long, Longinus the Lancer, Miranda the Scholar, Freeze the Mediator, and Purify the Time Mage. And on White Knight's side, we have Lance the Paladin, Noroi the Ninja, Storm the Wizard, and Light the Priest. Once again, we've already seen all both of these teams. So, we're just going to move on right to the match. So, round one will be taking place on map number 86, the Kula Pass. Good luck to both of you. This this will be a pretty interesting match. We have a Mimic Derevon right off the bat. That looks like a Holy or something. There's a Dia. Dia for 105. Priest doubt faiths herself and it misses. She's trying to use doubt faith to dodge the holy, I guess. The ninja's right there with the phoenix down to pick up the priest again. Those, that glacier gun being absolutely devastating. Looks like Priest is going to cure herself. Both teams seem to be on the defense right now. There's a comment, and my um, game is lagging a little bit. Uh. Looks like, um. Gatebuster's kind of cramped in the corner right there. Doesn't quite kill the, the paladin. Now that kills the paladin. It looks like that that's a comet. Comet drops the paladin again. Looks like White Knight has been put on the defensive. Lancer's got that high ether. There's a transfusion. Guys, I'm sorry about the lag. Uh. Let me know if um if that's too um I mean let me know if it bothers you. The bolt too. The comet. Moogle to heal up the scholar, but um yeah. I think Gatebuster's in the lead here. 
There's a deer. Deer snipe, take out the ninja. There's a raise too. That looks like a summon. It's a Ramu. Holy. Several high damage spells going on here. The Paladin's got a Grand Cross. Darkness on the Time Mage isn't really going to be a big deal. Both teams have some really adequate sources of healing. There doesn't seem to be a clear Oh, don't act lands on the on the wizard. She's not getting off that spell. Oh wait. Nope, Priest is there with the Nisuna. And we got Bolt 2 dropping the Time Mage. Ouch. White Knight's Paladin walks up to the Scholar. Buckshot. Both teams pick up both units, or pick up their units again. Hoke, that wizard is down. Yeah, we've got a high faith barrage. There's a stop. That ninja's not moving for a while. There's a glacier gunshot to um, heal up a little bit. That wizard. Two misses. Things are not looking good. Things are not looking good for White Knight here. That Paladin's going for a Grand Cross. Don't know if that Paladin can stand alone. Yeah, that paladin's gonna get um, gonna get jumped on. I guess Carbuncle for funsies. Yep, Hit Buster takes this. Takes um, round one. And we're going on to round two. Round two is going to be on map 44, Ravinia Free City. It's 
the last time was pretty back and forth for the most time for the most part so that miss raise too pretty much sealed the deal for white knight we'll see what happens this time Oh, wizard gets dropped right off the bat. But Paladin is there to pick her right back up. Nether Ice drops Gatebuster's Time Mage. Looks like a fairy, yeah, that's a fairy. Bio 3 hits 3 units. Wizard face plants again. Look, time Mage gets dropped by Grand Cross. Holy to drop the ninja. Now, White Knight is um, looking in a bit of trouble right now. Guess those holies don't quite drop that ninja. Raise two is um, really good. The paladin is keeping guy is keeping three units busy, but not for long. I suppose that re-raise is doing work. Priest can only sand sandbag for so long. As long as that ninja keeps getting dropped, I think Gatebuster is pretty much in control. Priest is down. And the wizard is down too. That only leaves the ninja, which is about to get dropped right now. Yep. So, it looks like Gatebuster will be taking around match number 45. GG.